Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to call one macro from within another macro. So what I have here is a very simple input form. Name and age. Just a random whatever name and someone's age. So let's say for the age if the person is under 18 they can't apply for this job or this position or whatever it is. And when you click the submit button we want the submit button to tell us something. So that's um, what it is for the macro and if you'd like to get this workbook or the macros you see here go to teachexcel.com search for this tutorial download it there. Now let's go to the VBA window hit alt F11. Now what I've got here are two macros okay one to uh, verify the age and one to display the mess message box usually you'd put them in one module but uh, I just want to show you that you can do it from separate ones here. So here we go if range c4.value is less than 18, then do something. I'm going to call the message box. And if. So that's all it is. Very simple, very easy to do. And I've explained the range and the dot value and everything in previous VBA tutorials. If you don't understand what that means, you can go check that out. Um, as well as the if statements here. So anyway, we want to call this guy right here. Message box, sorry, but you are too young. The name of the macro that you'd like to call is the important part, message. That's the name of it. So all you have to do, call message. It's as simple as that. So easy. So hit Alt F11. Now I have the submit button attached to verify age. So it's going to run the if statement first. If it evaluates to um, true, then it will spit out the message box. So if you're 21, you apply nothing. If you are 17 and you apply, sorry, but you are too young. So um, there you go. That's all there is to it. I'm going to hit Alt F11 to go back to the macro window. Now I so showed you how to call a very simple macro without any arguments in it. So with nothing in here. So in a later tutorial, I'll show you how to call one with stuff in here. But uh, for now, that is it for this very quick tip. Right here is how you can access a macro from within another macro. Call with the name of the macro. So that's it.